Hello, my name is Sandy Hood with a video for busy students, busy students preparing for the SEMA P1 exam, this time looking at an ABC question. Um, this particular one is where we are required to find the machine setup cost per unit and it's based on the uh, syllabus section A, cost accounting systems, and this is where we have to compare and contrast activity-based costing with traditional marginal and absorption costing methods. And this is one of three videos that I'm producing based on ABC for the OT exams. I will also do one which is looking at ABC in the context of the operational case study. Here our question says, a company uses an activity-based costing system and three products are manufactured. We've got the production volume per year, 80,000, 100,000 and 50,000, and the batch sizes in terms of how many units are produced. We're not told how many batches there are, uh, but that's something that we sort of discern by looking at the question already. We can see that the cost per batch, you know, in terms of the number of setups needed anyway, is 3, 4 and 6 and the total costs of all the setups for the whole year, 150,000. The question asks us the machine setup cost per unit of product B and gives us four alternative answers, which at this stage we can't really see much between. We need to address it using five steps. First, find the number of batches, then the total number of setups, divide the annual machine cost for the setups by the total number of setups, and multiply that cost per setup by the machine setups for a batch of B and then divide the product B batch by the batch size in order to get a unit cost. We've immediately added our extra row because we identified that the number of batches was missing and we can quickly add in now that we've got 800 batches of A, 2000 batches of B and 2000 batches of C. We can then move on and identify that the total setups are going to be 2,400, 8,000 and 12,000 respectively, which gives us a total number of setups of 22,400. If we divide the 150,000 cost by the 22,400, it gives us a setup cost of $6 and about 70 cents. We then multiply that by the number of setups needed for a batch of product B, which gives us a cost of 26.78. And we divide that by the 50 units within that batch to give us a value of 54 cents. So looking at the question, we can identify that uh, there are four alternative answers and that the answer is D. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, if you want to know more about me and the courses I run, then look at, you can contact me by email at sandy at sandyhood.com or look on my website, sandyhood.com forward slash page ID 290 or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash accountancy tutor. Thank you very much and good luck in your exam.